JAMA Network. This computer tomography or CT scan helps physicians see the amount of plaque in the coronary arteries. As the plaque builds, it also calcifies. You can see the calcium because it's very bright in x-ray and when you see calcium in these arteries, you know they have blockages. After measuring how much plaque is inside the arteries and also the density of the calcium together, patients receive a score. In people whose risk for a heart attack is unclear, the score can help physicians better decide a person's risk for developing a future heart attack or stroke. That score can be improved, that you can get a better prediction by t taking into consideration the volume and the density separately. Dr. Michael Crickey from the University of California, San Diego and co-authors studied CT scans of men and women ages 45 to 84 from four different ethnic groups. Coronary artery calcium was measured in all the heart arteries. The participants were followed for 10 years to see whether they developed heart attack, stroke, or other cardiovascular disease. The denser your calcium, the higher the score they give you. What we found is actually you should make the score smaller because the denser the calcium is, is actually protective. So it's not good to have this plaque in your heart, but if you do have this plaque in your heart, the denser it is, the less dangerous it is. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We don't think that the current scoring system is optimal, and we think the scoring systems ought to be changed to account for the density as a protective factor rather than as a hazardous factor. For those with an unclear risk of heart disease, the density variable is now just as important as the volume variable in predicting risk and deciding on treatment. It's not good to have plaque, but if you have plaque, if it's very dense, it's less hazardous than if it's less dense. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.